What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Back to the Future. As always, this is Rusty Ace. Um, we're continuing where we left off. We were hitching a ride. We got, um, I forgot his name, Biff's ancestor driving the vehicle. I can see the keys right there. Um, in the last episode, we were basically helping young Emmett Brown put together his rocket drill, which was a pain in the butt. Um, so if you missed that, please make sure to check out, I believe, part number six. This is part number seven. So let's get to it. I just uh, received the tire iron, so I believe I gotta loosen up that tire that's blocking us on the other side. There we go. And tire iron. Let's use it. Why on earth would I want to whack that with a tire iron? Is a tire? <laughs> There you go. Okay, now I have a hubcap, which I don't know what I'm gonna do do with that, but okay, let's go here. Let's get around. I don't know what he's gonna do right here. I'm confused. Maybe I can uh, smack him with the hubcap. Let me try that. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Okay, so. Keys. How do I get him? Hmm. Let's uh, smack him. I'm gonna smack him with it. Let's try, just try smack him. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. So what am I supposed to do? Um, hmm. Okay. Maybe I throw it at the tire and then he pulls over. What are my options here? Oh, climb! I can climb up even higher. Okay. Kid Tannen's driving the truck. Kid Tannen? That explains a lot. I found the keys. The keys are on the dashboard, but I can't reach them. You need a protraction of pertinence. What? A reach extender. Um, a reach extender. I'll be back! I'll wait right here! What is a reach? Oh, like the antenna on the top? There we go. Got it. Now... Don't tell me I gotta go all the way back. What am I gonna do with this? Okay, let's try this. No good! The window's shut! Oh my goodness. Go all the way around the truck. <laughs> He's not going to notice. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do this again. Oh, God. Gotta set up a distraction. Gotta set up a distraction. Okay. What other way to set up a distraction? Let's try hubcap. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. How do I set up a distraction? I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Okay, so the hubcap is useless. Um, show him a picture of my father. That'll distract him. Hmm. There's not many options. I can't just give Duck Brown the hubcap so he can bang on it. Not a distracto. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Okay. What am I supposed to do here? I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Not sure what that. You can definitely tell that this is one of Telltale's early games because uh, everything is very um, mysterious. You have like little to no hints unless you actually physically look at the hints. <laughs> Other than that, you're like left in the dark to figure out what the hell you're supposed to do. Okay. Oh. 
I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. There's only so many out there. I don't think throwing the hubcap at that would do any good. I'm sorry, guys, but you're probably going to hear that a couple more times. Can I click on my bike? Maybe I'll fly by him. I'm so confused. Not sure what that. Okay. Let's go over here. Hmm. Gotta keep him from looking my way. Hmm. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Uh, let's go to hints. Use the antenna. That's what I was trying to do, so that's not helpful. You'll never get those keys while kids focus on the road. Hmm. These hints are terrible. I'm going to use the last one. Ask Doc to set up distraction before using the antenna. That's what I tried to do, but he doesn't want to do it. He's like, I'm just going to chill back here. Don't tell me I have to go all the way around and talk to him from the other side just to get him to do this. <sighs> there, let's get to here. Come here, Doc. Right here. Not sure what that... Okay. There you go. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Uh, I need a distraction. I need a distraction! Leave it to me! Hey! Hey, driver! You're driving too fast! Watch how you take those curves! What are you trying to do? Kill me! Not quick enough! Okay. Come on. You're done with the distraction already? Oh my god. <laughs> Doc, you idiot. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh. Oh my goodness. I can't even see where the triangle's at. How do I. Oh, right here? Okay, I need another distraction. Can you distract him again? No problem! Hey! Hey, driver! I demand to know where you're taking me, and how long is it going to be till we get there? And I want to see my lawyer, right? Hey, no! I don't you think throwing the hubcap at that up. would do any good. This is, oh my goodness. No good, the window shut. <sighs> what am I supposed to do here? Okay, I'm going to test something out. Um, no. Let me get over here. There we go. You can do it. Talk to him. There you go. Can you distract him again? No problem! <sighs> hey! Hey, driver! You have like a small time frame? I am Select? Jeez. Jack to your tone of voice! And I find... I am Jack to your tone of voice! And I find this seat distinctly <laughs> uncomfortable! <laughs> You have a pillow I can sit on. Oh, tickle hey, his hand while I'm you're at it. To you, Whoa! Don't ignore me. Who's you. even on the stick? Ah. Ah. Thanks, Doc. I guess that's why they call you the streak. How did you know that? I have my sources. Okay, so now I have the keys. And he's not gonna stop the car even though he just saw me. Is, is he really that stupid? I can't select the lock. Right here. Stand back, Doc. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Eat lead, Sagan. Is this where I throw the hubcap at him? Oh, please. Please let me throw the hubcap at him. Oh, at his gun? It is. 
son of a bitch! <laughs> this is by far the most... Oh, I'm gonna grab his gun. Give me, give me his gun. Give me his gun, I want it. No, it's on the floor. There you go, grab it. <laughs> okay, now I need to grab the gun. And I'm pretty sure I need to shoot the chain. Oh my goodness, and he's still driving. I don't even need to put any commentary on this to make it funny. It's already retarded. Oh my goodness. Now what am I supposed to do? Oh my goodness. <sighs> uh, hit the throttle. The throttle! Why? Oh! There you go. <laughs> This guy's still driving. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hold on. Oh wow. Oh. Oh shit. Oh my goodness. What were they thinking when they were making this game? Okay? I'm fine. But I wonder what sorts of bizarre repercussions my younger self's invention of a flying bicycle will have on the timeline. Did you know that would happen? I had a suspicion. I never could keep those rockets from exploding. <laughs> so, what do we do now? Now we get back to 1986 before our interactions with the past inevitably cascade into a calamitous future. Where'd you leave Einstein? At the park. Uh, Doc? He's not in the pound, is he? No, uh, but I think we've got bigger problems right now. Oh my goodness. Great Scott! So now he's turning invisible. That was a very uh, hilarious episode. Um, just because of how I have everything set up with episodes and splitting them into parts. I'm going to cut it here and I'm going to pick off in the next episode. Here's what's in the ah! next one. Uh, what's happening? I don't know. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. Hey, fellas. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. History says Tanner will be arrested by a rookie cop by the name of Danny Parker. I fear that nothing will save Hill Valley from descending into the fires of chaos and corruption. Nothing is over until Kid Tannen says it's over. Well, real quickly, before I end the video, we have uh, Artie McFly here with us to my side right now. Hey there, fellas. Leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thanks for watching.